Hey guys, Chef Stuart here. All right, so today I wanna to show you how to make the perfect steak. This is so easy and there can be many ways to cooking steak. This is the way I use all the time and I wanna share it with you today. Um, you, just, you really want to buy a cast iron pan. I like definitely want one of those when you're making, when you're cooking any kind of red meat. It's just so good. It gets a really nice sear on it. It brings out a lot of flavor in the meat um, and it's just the way forward. Now I have my pan smoking here. I rubbed it in some canola oil. The reason why I use canola oil, it has a high smoke point. This is slightly smoking, but that doesn't mean it's burning. It's just, it's ready to go and it's hot enough. So, it's gonna turn it down. So I got my two steaks. I have like eight ounce fillets right here. You're gonna really season them up with salt and pepper aggressively because this is where you're gonna add all your flavor. So I have my steaks seasoned here really well, salt and pepper. My pan is smoking, that means it's ready. So literally you're just gonna put it on the pan and walk away for five minutes. That's it. Come back, turn it over, cook it another five minutes and you're gonna let it rest for another five minutes and your steak is ready to eat. And that is the perfect medium rare when you're cooking steak. If you want it medium, just add another minute on each side. Medium well, add another minute on each side and, and so forth. All right, so we're at that halfway point. It's been about five minutes. I'm just gonna turn it right over. Ah, beautiful, look at that. You get a nice like crispiness on the top. All right, so we're in the last few minutes of cooking. Of course, look who turns up, my dog Bo. And she smells steak, isn't that right? All right, I might give you some later. Okay, sit down, I need you to sit for me. All right, okay. So in the last minute of cooking, I like to just baste the steak with some butter to add some more flavor to it, all right? Just really, really good. All right, she's gone, she got annoyed. So the steak is done, we're gonna let it rest on the board for about five minutes. So we want all those juices to reconstitute into the steak, because if we cut into it now, all that great juice comes out and then our steak kind of gets tough and dry. So we don't want that. So while it's resting there, I'm gonna make arugula salad. Arugula is a great lettuce. I really like it with the steak because it has a nice peppery taste to it. Um, I'm gonna add just a toss, some extra virgin olive oil, splash of balsamic in there. Salt, pepper, sorry, pepper and salt. Give that a quick mix, and that's just gonna go right on top of the steak when we're done. And finish it with some, some Parmesan cheese. Really easy, guys, and the steak takes, you know, 10, 15 minutes to make. So we gotta grab a plate, got our steak right here, and then we are gonna just finish it with some lettuce, just like that. Hit it with some Parmesan on the top. That's it, and that is a beautiful steak dinner. Look at that, super easy, guys. It's the way you cook a steak. 